Okay, next thing I wanted to touch on here is the FortiGate router. Uh, what this basically is, is your firewall in between anything point of sale related and the outside internet. So you need this in order to process any kind of cards. They will go through this device. Uh, you can see we usually put a label on here. It does say Fortinet, but that's just the brand name because there's other Fortinet branded devices that we have. But right underneath that, see how it says Fortigate 60E. That Fortigate is what this is. Again, we label this accordingly so that way you can tell the difference. Um, the main thing you have to pay attention to here is you have all these indicator lights on the front as well as ports on the back, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, port one, well, this is actually exactly how it should be. You're going to have ports one and two, the DMZ, WAN one, and WAN two lit. You can see the top light is indicating it's for a uh, link, meaning that something's plugged into it and it's active. So it's either on or blinking, meaning that it's transferring data. The bottom one is speed. And so that just determines how fast it's going uh, for that transfer rate. That's why you have the different colors on this. You see that one and two, or I'm sorry, one and WAN two are orange in color compared to the rest that are green. Those typically mean that the connection is a little slower if it's orange. Um, and I'll explain that in a second as well. So now we'll go to the back. So this is the back side. You can see on the bottom here that all of those, if I can move this here, all of those ports are labeled. So you have 1 through 7, DMZ, WAN 1, WAN 2. That console port's not used unless they're programming the device. So uh, anyway, that corresponds with the lights on the front. Uh, port 1, or LAN 1, goes to your Commander ANIC, which I have that labeled on this cable right there. We covered that in the Commander uh, connections. Port 2, there that, that port right next to 1, that goes to your kickback traffic cop. Um, we'll cover that in another video. And then the rest of these ports are not used up until you get to the DMZ port. That is going to your Forta switch. That's that one labeled right here. That Forta switch, that's what has all the registers and pin pads and the back office computer and the commander all connected to it. So that's how you get connections from these cards in order to gather that information that's being sent to it. Now the kicker here is the WAN 1 and WAN 2, those are your modems. So you actually have two modems that are connected to this. WAN 1 is your primary modem, as this is labeled right here. That, in all the stores, is referred to as the terrestrial modem. So if you have, uh, it could be several different things. Some stores have Spectrum, some stores have Allo, some stores have Windstream. Um, and as I said, there's three different modems. So if you have Allo for the back office computer, that does not necessarily mean you have Allo for your WAN 1 point of sale primary modem. So it, it depends on the store. Uh, we can visit that if need be. Now WAN 2 is your backup. So that's your backup modem here as it's labeled. Yeah, 4G backup. And the reason that's 4G is because that's your wireless connection. So what that, I'm going to show the 4G here real quick. That's This one looks like in the test bed. Um, what this is supposed to do is if your primary modem goes down, so let's say you have Spectrum and you lose service there, then what this FortiGate is supposed to do is revert over to WAN 2 and say, I can't get out on WAN 1, it's not connecting, so I'm going to go over to this one and this FortiGate is supposed to take care of that. It doesn't always work. Um, if it doesn't work, what we will ask you to do is unplug WAN 1 like that and that way the only modem connection they have is WAN 2 and it forces it to use the backup credit instead of trying WAN 1 over and over and over and failing. 
we'll obviously we'll plug that back in at some point when we know that service has been restored through Spectrum or Windstream or whatever you have. And then, well, let's just plug that back in now. Okay, so that's plugged back in. Uh, the last thing here is the power that is locked in by this little tab. That's your AC to this device. Um, if I follow this cable down, you'll see there's what we call a power brick. Um, just because this is difficult to unplug and replug, I think this is the best method for uh, power cycling the device if you need to. Anytime you see a brick like this, this is usually the easiest way. So what I will do, if I can get this focused here, is this is just a simple plug. You just unplug it like that. You can see it's got the three prongs. So I just plug that back together. And now you'll see that you'll start getting activity lights on this again once it gets power. I actually will go over to the front. So you can see I got power. Well, that's, yeah, that indicates power right there. So as long as that light comes back on when you plug it back in, you know it should uh, go through and do its thing. Anytime you power cycle this, it takes about two to three minutes to come back up. You'll see activity lights on these that are occupied, like I said. Okay, here we go. So you'll see that I got WAN 1, or yeah, WAN 1, WAN 2, DMZ, port 1 and port 2, because they're all being used. But it's only been 30 seconds at this point. So you still want to wait, because even though this looks like it's fine, it's still got to go through and cycle through its firmware that it's got loaded on this. So even though it appears it's ready to go, you still got to give it, oh, there we go. There's an indicator right there that it's not done and it's still loading. So like I said, about two to three minutes after you reboot a FortiGate is when it'll start becoming active again. Uh, and this is controlled by SageNet at all stores. That's who we get the FortiGates from. Um, that is mandated by Philips. You have to get either SageNet or Hughes. We elect to go to SageNet for all stores. So that is who manage, or who we get this device from and who manages it. And that is the FortiGate.